this is a 32 year female who had a fall from staircase in a hospital she is a hospital servant in one of the surgeons hospital she had a fall and she has sustained this injury so what will be your approach for this particular case sir ct scan this is the ct 2d and 3d images Vidusha, in a CT scan, how does it help you to plan surgery? Yeah, to you, know, you know it's an anterior combination disorder. of the tuberosity. And uh, if there is any head split, that will be visible. So since it is anterior, this needs open reduction internal fixation through deltopectoral approach. The other it, faculty uh, members? Rajendra, I think you are disqualified because you know about this case. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen the result of this case, but my answer would be a open reduction and the trick would be to get the head back into position. Okay, Ajit, any conflicting opinion? No, no, no conflicting opinion. It's sometimes very difficult to get that particular… This is a 32-year-old, so fairly good bone stock. Elderly, similar uh, displacement. It's difficult to dis, uh, get it out, po, something like a shan spin you can put and lever it out or a blunt instrument to pull it out. All right. So I'll just show you, we have managed this particular case percutaneously per and how we have done it. I think it, it has been shown quite well by VM Shah where he puts in the small screw or something and then he'll be able to lever it out. Once the head has gone in, now it becomes a plain, straightforward, simple, proximal humerus surgery. Yeah. Well, that is one of the ways by which you can get the head inside and then you can do a regular fixation. See, this is what we did. I kept the head outside as it is and aligned the shaft to the head. Under the C-arm, we confirmed the position in both AP and lateral positions and fixed the shaft to the head with two K wires. Once the head and the shaft becomes one unit, you know, it becomes very easy by a simple maneuver you can get the head inside. And that is what happened. The head has come inside and then we have passed two more wires, one from the tuberosity into the shaft. This wire is very important because this wire has got a bicortical hold. All other wires, you know, you really can't pass through the head. So, this wire is very important. And in the last picture, you see another wire going through. And just by putting wires, you know, we could get this particular fracture or dislocation in well aligned position. And this is a four months function. And this is a two year follow up. And complete range of movement in this particular case. So, um, difficult looking case, you know. If you are able to plan your strategy of how you are going to get the things in line, you can get an excellent reduction. One more case quickly, another 65 year fracture dislocation. Again, three part fracture. The same policy adopted. This was a CT done to cut confirm the geometry of the fracture and same position the alignment of the shaft with the head was first aligned and then it was fixed and you can fix the tuberosity very well with this and in addition because this was a parotic bone I have routinely started using a jest fixator on top and if you use a jest fixator you can literally mobilize these patients very quickly, within just two, three days, you can start the pendulum movements. And this is the uh, final position. This is a one month follow up. This is a three months follow up. And this is the function at the end of six months. So, fracture dislocation, friends, is not always an open reduction. If the patient comes in time, you can get excellent reduction of uh, the fracture dislocation, even with a percutaneous method and you can get better functional outcomes than doing an open reduction and fixation. I am sure 
as Dr. Tanna sir always asks that after doing philos, how many of your patients get full range of movements? And I think the answer is hardly any patient gets really full range of movement. But with this percutaneous method, you can literally get 100% movements back to the normal. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.